Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Mac here, playing Sunset Overdrive, showing you how to get the I should get paid for this achievement for beating Insomniac QA's high score of 534,000 on the Bucks Revenge Challenge in Sunset Overdrive. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to this location on the map that I'm showing currently. You'll have to progress a long way through the game, and I recommend you do this somewhere near the end of your game, as you will need a lot of experience and a lot of different things in order to get this working. Once you're here, make sure you refill your ammo. If you try to go for the achievement and you don't get it, don't restart the challenge. Make sure you quit out and buy new ammo and then come back here. For weapons, you're going to need a whole bunch of level 5 weapons and I recommend using them with amps. The important ones here are the Dirty Harry, the Acid Sprinkler, and the Turret Copter. Additionally, the TN Teddy as well as the Proximity Mine are helpful. For overdrives, you're going to want all level 4 overdrives and the ones you're going to look for are plus minus. OD Rival, Weapon Damage Deployables, Weapon Damage Single Shot, Ammo Capacity Single Shot, and OD Killer. I'll have everything I just said listed down below in the YouTube comments. I recommend you read those. Those uh, things are the most important thing to getting this complete. Now you're going to need 534,000 points. I get 630,000 points, which is 100,000 more than I need to get this achievement. And on top of that, not all my weapons were level 5. Not even all my overdrives will level f were, were level 4. So if you're able to get all level 4 overdrives and all your weapons level 5 with good amps on them, you should have absolutely no problem getting even over 700,000. From the very beginning, make sure you get these 5 melee kills as fast as possible. You can also do your air dash and your ground melee hit in order to get them faster. From then on, you're going to have to go to grind kills, so quickly get on a grind. And I recommend using the TNT Teddy for the grind kills. Um, and then as soon as you get the 10, make sure you switch to your Dirty Harry in order to take the spawner down. If you have every single overdrive I mentioned, level 4, you should be able to take it down in 2 shots. I don't have everything purely, purely maxed out, so it takes me 4, sometimes 3 shots to get it done. Next up is bounce kills. What you're going to want to do is take out your acid sprinkler or your turret copter and uh, just bounce on there. And while you're bouncing, uh, make sure your uh, little sprinklers are killing. And then hop into your undergrind as soon as that happens and your turrets and sprinklers should keep killing. The muggers are the hardest part of this challenge. You're going to want to take out your dirty hairy pistol and you should be able to two shot them each. They spawn in the exact same spot every time. Quickly go back to the pyro here. You're going to need to get 10 pyro kills and then 15 pyro kills and then like 20 pyro kills. Um, but I don't think we get to the 21 uh, with my method. So as soon as you get the ability to jump on this, make sure you keep jumping. Do not kill any of these enemies by shooting or anything. And right after this, we're going to go back into melee kills. So as soon as you complete that challenge, you're going to want to air dash into a huge group of enemies and hit the ground. And hopefully you can get all 10 basically immediately as soon as that challenge pops up. Now hop on your grind and start putting out your acid sprinklers. Then after you get the grind kills, hop up here again and repeat the same process. You're going to have to kill the spawners using the Dirty Harry pistol. Three or four shots depending on how good your gun is. Now jump back down and put up your turret copters and your acid sprinklers again in order to get bounce kills. Transition again from bounce kills to undergrind. And you should be able to get all your undergrinds basically just going back and forth without having to worry about actually shooting anything. You can always use your TNT Teddy in order to get additional kills if possible. Now you're going to move on to the Muggers Stage 2. There's four of them. They will have the exact same spawns as before, slightly differently as there's additional two. And you're going to want to kill them using your Dirty Harry as fast as possible. This is the reason we have the Ammo Capacity Overdrive, because we're going to be using the Dirty Harry quite a bit. Now hop on back to your Pyro Kills. You're going to need 15 of these. As soon as you get to 15, you're going to want to air dash and go for the melee, hopefully getting a whole 15 people melee killed. I only got seven. So just keep doing the melee kills. Make sure you don't do the jump right after the um, ground smash as you can gain too much height and it won't really help you. Uh, here you see me uh, spewing out um, grind kills while using my acid sprinkler. Jumping up on top of here in order to use my dirty Harry on these OD spawners. Three or four shots as normal. If uh, they walk into your acid sprinklers or your turret copters hit them, like I said, you should be able to get two or three shots on them no problem, especially if you have a good amp on it. Now, with about at least 30 seconds left, you're going to want to just keep going through the chain here. I'm going to be getting uh, bounce kills, so I'm going to be using my acid sprinkler for bounce kills. Once I run out of acid, I start using my turret copter, which is only level 1. If you have a level 5 turret copter, it does a hell of a lot more damage. And then I'm going to hop on here. You're going to want... You can see that I already have almost enough points to do this. 
But as soon as you get your undergrind kills up to the 15 marker, you're going to have the 6 OD muggers. For this one, you can try to do the objective. I would just recommend not really paying attention to the muggers and just going for all the enemies as much as you possibly can. Make sure using your deployable weapons like your acid sprinkler and your turret copter, they should be getting kills for you while you're not doing anything. Feel free to also melee and whatever. You should be able to have 535,000 points by now. If you don't, you're just going to have to retry and keep doing this exact same method. Obviously, watching it on screen, I've proven that it works. And if you have all level 5 weapons with good amps on them and the right overdrives, you should be able to get that 534,000. I was able to get 630. Again, my stuff wasn't maxed out, and I recommend your stuff is maxed out. Here is my leaderboard position at the time of making this video, which is well before the game's release. I am first in the leaderboard, which is not a surprise, as there's only a couple hundred people playing the game right now. Here's my achievement worth 25 gamer score. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informational, educational, entertaining, or any of the above, feel free to like it, make sure to comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.